Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, now that we've done our two column layout and our four column fat footer, we are now going to add the header image, add a header image and the nav menu beside each other in the header up here. Okay, and we're going to create a default header and then we're going to create a header for our front page and for our blog page. So we'll have custom headers here. We're going to start off with, whoops, pardon me, wrong button. We're going to start off with our page. Okay, and so in order to do this, in order to put an image here and our nav menu there, we need to put two columns in our header as well. So we are going to create two columns here by creating a new box. Okay, so let's just add our new box, drag our box up here. We're going to create a container, and that's going to be header columns. Add that box. And this one is going to be, actually, we're just going to call this one header columns because it's not a clean answer to this. In fact, it's going to be header columns typical. So let's see. Header columns typical. And we'll go ahead and just drag that up into place. Whoops. Shift drag that up into place. Okay. I keep control dragging. Okay, and so then we need to create a couple of columns for that. So header left and header right is what we'll create container header left add box and just like before that's going to be C1 and then we'll add a new box header right add the box and that's going to be whoops and that's going to be C2 We'll drag, shift drag, header right up into header columns, and then header left up into header columns. Expand it so we can see that. Now, actually, we are also going to take header columns and shift drag it and drop it into header. So shift drag and drop it into header. Okay. And then we're going to open up our column or our header here. We're not going to be using the site title here, so we'll go ahead and drag that out of the way. We are going to use the site tagline though. And I'm going to put the site tagline in header right, and I'm going to put the nav menu in header right. So we'll shift drag the nav menu, drop it into header right. Shift drag the tagline and head it in, drop it into header right. Now we have the tagline above the nav menu, and the header left is blank. We'll go ahead and save this template, come over to CSS, and we will create a new package. And again, it's going to be a columns package. Add the package. This will be typical header columns. Actually, I'm going to call it header columns typical. And We'll just do the same thing. Header columns typical. Better make sure I got that as the. Uh, let's save this packet. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and change this first. So we've got two columns. Column one, the width is going to be, it's going to take my header image and width is going to be 300 pixels wide. And it's going to float to the left. It's not going to have any padding at all. Column two, we're going to make auto. And in this case, we'll go ahead and float it to the left as well. And I'm going to give it 100 pixels of left padding. And you'll see why in a minute. If you don't say anything here, if you just say 100, thesis assumes it's pixels. If you want to be EMs, you have to type in EM. If you want to be PICAs, you have to type, 
I guess pica and so on and so forth. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that. Save and compile. Come back over to our HTML and make sure I gave this header columns the right header columns tip. Let's just do that again. Just paste that there. Yep, I did. Save the template. Let's see. Let's refresh it. And I want to go to a page. So here it is. I've got nothing in the first column, so the second column just pushes all the way over. As soon as I put something in here, it'll push back. So now we're going to do something. We're going to add a, an entirely brand new type of a box. And that box is going to be an HTML box. So now we'll come down here and we'll say add a box and it's going to be a text box. And this will be typical header image. Uh, let's see. Header image typical and add the box and I'm gonna drag this box up and drop it into header left and then I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna place HTML in here now in order for us to do that HTML though we need to go back to the site actually let's just do it like this and open the link in a new tab and let's go down to I've got a page set up to do this It's a sandbox page so we'll go to pages and then my sandbox page and in my sandbox page I'm gonna put my header image so I'm gonna select add media Go to my media library where I've got the header image. I'm using my smaller header image here. So this is the one we're going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and use the full size version of it. Okay, I want the title to be, go back to our home page. I want the alternate text to be the Barking Chihuahua Cafe. I want the link URL to be uh, the link URL to be my home page. I'm going to go ahead and float this one to the left. It's going to be full size, so we just insert into post. That writes all my HTML, so now all I have to do is copy it come back over to the skin editor here and open up my HTML paste it close it save the template come back over and refresh it and now my header image is there and come over like this we can click on the header image and it takes us whoops Okay, the header image is not clicking, so obviously I, I ahref thesis two demo. Um, it should be clicking just fine. Image src. Okay. Let's go over to CSS and make sure I didn't screw up that. Oh, <laughs> because I haven't put any definition in here for my header thing yet. So header columns typical, right? <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Copy, cancel. Header columns typical. Oh, no, not add the package. Just save and compile. Come back over here and refresh this. And now it works. The menu is in the wrong place and was covering up over the Barking Chihuahua Cafe, but if you click on that, we now get it. If you go to News, though, notice that the heading is not any different, right? And that's because, of course, this is only currently applying to pages.